kind of under the dull, dirty, and dangerous philosophy of let's remove those things from these highly skilled workers' plate and let automation handle those. And then we can use their superpowers for greater good, right? Like on the hard stuff. The ability to, to drop a model in Toolpath and being able to see like, can we make this part is super valuable. Being able to give that as a tool to my estimating team to quickly be able to look at what this job might be, be very responsive on our quotes and RFQs. On the sending parts to the floor side, we don't do a lot of mill only work. So we get to use it occasionally on production type work, but where we've really been able to embrace it is just on our fixturing, whether it's soft jaws or a positioning fixture, even an inspection fixture that we need to make for the CMM, something like that. Quick, easy, drop it in there, get a quick tool path on it, and then send that to the floor and get that made quickly. I'm Mike Payne with Hill Manufacturing in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We'll be 50 years old next year. A lot of the same customers, same parts. I bought the shop about eight years ago, and we've built what I believe to be a really great kind of tech stack that allows us to deliver on our promise to deliver quality parts on time. The toolpath is becoming a more and more integral part of that tech stack that allows us to deliver on our promise to our customers. You know, I think we have to really feel like what are those pain points that that customer is dealing with? and address those. The processes we've built around and the systems are all zeroed in on that. If Toolpath didn't help me address one of those pain points, then I don't need it, but it does. Because it helps me get parts to my floor faster, which means then I'm gonna deliver parts to my customer faster. They need a quote faster. They Whatever that, those pain points are they're dealing with, that's what we try to address. I think a lot of this next phase of companies that are bringing new technology to the market are doing a really good job of building a community around that technology, that use. Toolpath is clearly doing the same thing. The users seem very willing to help each other. The Toolpath team is incredibly helpful. You know, even like with your Chips and Tip podcast and all that, just those tidbits of information that can just be playing in our shop just helps us learn something every day. You know, with any type of change in technology and automation, anything like that, there was definitely a hesitancy Thankfully, my team, you know, kind of jumped in, said, okay, this is important to the company. And they quickly, quickly had a change of heart on, oh gosh, okay, this is reducing my workload. Again, kind of back to the dull, dirty, and dangerous. Like, let me get that stuff off my plate so that I can use my superpowers for good.